Welcome back to yet another episode of Door Kickers to Task Force North, where we've been using realistic and real world military tactics to play this game, which is called Door Kickers to Task Force North. Guys, if you don't yet own this game and you've stumbled upon this video by chance or by fortune, I invite you to purchase it from my game store if you like what you're seeing here. You can do so by going to nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. You'll get the game at its normal retail price. You'll get a Steam key when you purchase it there and a portion of the purchase will go to benefit the channel directly. Super thankful for each of you who choose to buy the game from my game store. As always, we're going to begin this video by taking a look at the map and the mission and getting an understanding of what we are expected to do to accomplish it. That will inform how we equip our soldiers and it will inform how our assault goes. And this whole process, the rudimentary form that we hastily execute video to video, week to week, game to game, is called intelligence preparation of the battlefield. That's a very rigorous step-by-step -step sort of doctrinal procedure that we hastily go through each time we play. Um, but today we're going to take a look at the uh, the battlefield starting off. Um, we got to understand that this is a hostage rescue. We don't know how many hostages there are. We know that, you know, they are around here somewhere. Um, and our mission is to save their lives. That means finding them rapidly and getting them out safely. We don't get a good enemy situation or a briefing coming into the mission, but it does just kind of looking at it look to be some sort of uh, a mansion or uh, a, a real just a nice looking um you know, office space. And I, you know, I say office space because uh, we see some sort of like cinema or uh, an auditorium area up here. The, uh, the bathrooms, um, there's multiple stalls, multiple sinks. We've got conference rooms. We have um, kind of cubicle or workspace over here. So it's a place of business, but it looks like a very nice place of business. Um, and uh, as we look closer, we start to see some questionable stuff, which lead me to believe that we're going to be seeing um, a pretty dangerous environment. First, you know, I see uh, what looks like a torture room or a guard shack, but let's be honest, it looks pretty gross. Uh, bucket, chair, unknown substance on the floor, um, no signs of anything good there. As we start to look deeper into the space, you know, we go into this corner fed room into a long hallway, um, and, you know, I start to see some RPG warheads right here. So there's now um, a heavy weapons threat, a shoulder fired threat somewhere in, uh, in the compound. I'm also seeing small arms. It looks like we have an AK mag right there, so, uh, you know, likely some AK variants. Um, among the personnel that are guarding this place and holding these hostages as we continue to scan strange looking rooms kind of long corner fed here um, center fed here but of note this is a glass door and a glass wall and there's this is kind of weird there's a, a camera right here so that allegedly or the reason we're able to see like this piece of the pie right there is because this camera is live streaming somewhere else and you know they're simulating that uh, phenomena but either way as we approach this slice of dead space um, anyone in this room is going to be able to see down that long axis and we could get engaged from far um, which puts us kind of in a weird spot as we're trying to come this way um honestly kind of makes me want to push through here open this door uh and fight like this um, or even put a camera under that door um so put that on the list we need a camera um as we continue to look obviously this is going to be a huge challenge if i'm an enemy you know if I'm if I am holding hostages, not if I'm an enemy, but if I, if I'm in the business of holding enemy prisoners of war or hostages, um, I'm going to consolidate them if I can in one spot at least initially, and then I might starburst them to different locations as I feel like I'm becoming hunted. Um, out here, if if they are under siege. Uh, and they are limited on personnel and they want to commit a lot of personnel to the defense and fewer personnel to watching hostages You would want to consolidate them in one space. This would be an excellent place to consolidate them um, And I'll keep that in mind as I kind of work through the rest of my clearance uh, Here you, it's interesting because you got a brick wall on the outside uh, But then you also have like this large Really kind of pretty uh, patio enormous patio um, outside of that uh, Little mezzanine kind of space over here um, we're getting into kind of like the more business stuff. I don't see weapons. There's a breaching hammer. That's kind of bizarre. Um, like a hooligan tool, it looks like. Um, still looking. Bathrooms. Guys, fucking bathrooms. Uh, and we all, we all meme and joke about the bathrooms. The reason bathrooms are dangerous is like, yes, because that one thing happened that one time. Um... But beyond that, there are short rooms. Short rooms can be just super dangerous. If, if someone is getting chased and hunted, they're going to barricade in places where they don't think they are going to be discovered, and they're going to barricade in places where they don't have to watch a lot of avenues of approach. Short rooms are a good option, uh, which makes short rooms very dangerous because you can't get a whole bunch of assaulters in. The fatal funnel is incredibly uh, crowded. You can't open up good sectors of fire, uh, and there's just not a lot of good ways to clear them. It doesn't take a lot of manpower, but it is high, high risk. 
um, and it's difficult to do to achieve standoff whenever you enter a short room. So that's that's my concern um, with those short rooms. Um, and also, kind of as I look, you know, through areas like this, there's so much dead space, or there would be so much dead space, like underneath these desks for people to hide in, that it would just present such an enormous challenge. It would take a very long time to get through here. Um, this is outdoors as well. This is a, there's a lot of glass. So that's glass. That's glass. That's going to trigger a lot of angles that we're not usually used to. Um, certainly this out yard, you know, this outdoor courtyard here is in play. There's glass that allows us to see it. Um, okay. So that's where we're at. So uh, we've got eight guys to accomplish this. So far I threw six down here and I threw two up here. We'll start up here. This is just a blocking position. My concern is, you know, if my main assault's coming this way um, and, and we're slowly working clearance, like this, I'm going to be pushing the enemy, and the enemy's going to be falling back, falling back, barricading, falling back, and they could eventually squirt out the back, uh, get in these cars, and leave. So, uh, Gold and Koran here are assaulters. They're equipped with uh, the MP5 SD6 submachine gun, which, as we all know, is a submachine gun that fires 9mm and has built in um, mechanics or manufacturing. Uh, that makes that 9mm subsonic, which makes it quiet. So it's not actually a suppressed gun, but it's a gun that's shooting subsonic 9mm that keeps it quiet. Uh, they're both quiet. We've got level 4 plates across the entire assault force today. Two bangs, frags, walls charge there, and then three bangs here. Their goals, the guys, they're just going to kind of pie over here, maybe get a peek through this window. If we're feeling froggy, maybe pull down these curtains or pull down these curtains. If we're feeling even more froggy, maybe take a look through there. Um, in fact, with all that in mind, I'm actually going to put... A spy camera over here so I can stick it under this door um, as I try to build SA. Down here, right away, I know I don't have a spy camera right, right now. We already talked about needing one. So, um, how many wall breaches do I have? Good lord, I have three. So, I'm going to drop a wall breach in favor of a spy camera. All right, so what do we have? I've, uh, I've got one, two, three, four traditional assaulters. Each of them is running the M4. On that M4, I've thrown on the hollow site. Uh, most of these engagements look like they're going to happen inside of 30 to 40 meters, so I'm okay with the hollow site as a um, you know an option to get a good uh, reflexive fire. And then we're shooting the uh, Mark 318 62 gram sauce ball ammo. Um, and then I switched up the secondaries on all these guys as well. I went with the Glock 22, which fires 40 Cal Smith and Wesson. Um, yeah, there we go. 40 uh, 40 Cal Smith and Wesson, so to give me a little bit more sno uh, stopping power. Um, we're keeping the level four plate so we can defeat high velocity rifle rounds, uh, frags, bangs, and then multiple methods of breaching. So we've got the dynamic hammer there. We've got slap charges there for doors, wall charge there on my grenadier. I'll talk more about him, him in a second. Another, another wall charge there so we can give ourselves more options, um, the spy camera. Uh, grenadier here has the M4 with the 203. Uh, I'm actually going to upgrade him to a Glock 22 as well, or G22. I don't know if we say Glock. I don't want to get you in trouble, Dan. Um, Level four plates, we'll give him the wall breach, that's all good to go. I wanna make sure he's got the hollow and sauce ball as well. And then our machine gunner's running the Mark 48. This is a, a gas-operated belt-fed light machine gun that fires 7.62. It's lighter than the 240, which is why one single man without an AG can run it. Um, I gave him a Glock 22. I'm actually also gonna throw a level four uh, plates on his front and back. And then he's just got frags for days. So two frags, two frags, three frags. Um, he's my oh shit button, right? Like suppress a fire and explosions. That's what he does. That's why uh, we love our machine gunners. Um, so that's how we're equipped. Uh, it's a hostage rescue. So, you know, traditionally when we think hostage rescue, we think we have to move really damn fast because once we're compromised, those hostages could die. I've got no indicators because this is a traditional hostage rescue and not what the game calls a stop execution. Uh, that doesn't mean there isn't executioners and it doesn't mean the hostages aren't in danger. What it does mean is I'm going to move quick, but I'm going to use a lot of violence of action. I'm going to build SA before I enter these spaces. I'm going back to... Um, using the underdoor camera because I want to identify where those hostages are because that's going to help me decide what tactics I need to get into the next space. Um, so no intentions of going quiet. I consider the MP5, but some of these rangers are just too long for the 9 mil um, down here. Uh, and instead, I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to be violent and fast and, uh, and deliberate. I'm going to treat this like a direct action assault um, where I need to use a lot of target discrimination. So that's kind of how the tactics are informed. Uh, we're clearing this way because that's just the way it's going to go. I've got some ideas of, you know, maybe wall breaching in here. If I can peek these corners and get an idea of what the uh, friendly situation is. Um, but a lot of, uh, of really challenging angles. And the fact that there's so much glass on this level is going to kind of really affect my tactics. I hope that we can get this in our first shot. I've never watched a video of this level. I've never attempted it before. This is a 100% blind look. 
Hopefully that's a braggy comment because we nailed on a first shot, but we know how that goes. Let's get started. We're going to run up here. We're going to stick a camera under the door. We're going to pull good security while we do it. We're going to pull rear security also. And over here, we're going to start looking through this glass. We're going to do that by right there. And then we'll just maintain that as well. Here we go. Okay, so over here, I'm able to kind of keep pieing, kind of get an idea of what's in this room from the outside. And over here, we can start taking a look already. So the courtyard, believe it or not, looks clean. All right, so that's why we, you know, we want to stick a camera under here. So now that I've, I've taken a look with the camera, I don't see any bad guys. I don't need to compromise myself by going explos uh, explosive or ballistic um, quite yet. That means I can enter this place quietly. I do need to clear this dead space. Um, and then I need to clear this dead space, and then, yeah, that's that. Um, so let's go ahead and plan this entry. So there's one foreign advisor, foreign advisor. So this is kind of a concern, because um, I think foreign advisors will go execute hostages. I think. Not certain, but I think. Oh, shit, and we're compromised already, just like that. Um, so be it. Two man stack over here. Uh, yeah. They're here. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna keep playing, but that is bull. We had the drop on the enemy from cover. I'm never bringing an MP5 again. Until like, there's no reason to play suppressed right now because the gun that you can play suppressed on sucks. Um, Raj. foreign advisor in this room you don't need to be quiet anymore kill everyone you see all right this door is coming open it looks like he's gonna breach it um, he'll kick this is a tough one so one man this is obviously like my biggest initial challenge so I'm actually gonna have him hit it just like that to pie off the rest of it um, with him I'm actually gonna kind of do something funky here and give him a buddy to hold long while he does it yeah right there our second guys will come this way oh this is glass so as soon as we come through here that is glass so this is a huge threat not nearly as a, as a gentle entry as we expected um, wow okay that changes everything It sucks because this is a large open area, so we're over penetrating it a little bit because um, there's not a ton of cover, and we need to do this quick. It's still quiet. Sub eyes on this one hostage. Mm. I'm so pissed about this. I really am. That was uh, frustrating. Okay. Clear. Open door. Alright, we're going to go sprint to here and post up to there. Additional hostage right here. Why can I see him all of a sudden? Is he about to get executed? Because that would be super. All right. Um, we're going to hold this angle. So that's kind of like our blocking position. In fact, I'm going to move my Mark 48 up here because that's like an obvious location to get a machine gun. Uh, we'll hold this angle while we do it. These guys are going to start pushing in. So there's no reason to do like a traditional entry here because we've already got good security at the only point that we see a threat oh shit that's an executioner sprinting 
for this hostage. I think that's why I can see him all of a sudden. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we just lost our freaking machine gunner right there. Um, that's fun. That's fun. So we're loud. We need to hurry. We've already taken two ridiculous casualties. I don't know. I mean, obviously, like, I had to push along here to get the angle to stop the execution. The machine gunner just over-penetrated personally and ended up with an issue there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get inside. How you doing on ammo, bro? Injured, 25 or 30. Hold what you got. He does have eyes on this hostage, so that kind of helps a little bit. Um, we know this to be, like, the hostage that is at the most risk right now. Golly. We'll go ahead and bang this and uh, and enter behind it. We don't like ever banging with the uh, lead man, but because we've still got long security here, the situation is slightly better than it usually would be. Bangs out. We're gonna end up pulling long with one. Going dynamic to here. We'll do center check and then end up pushing the long wall. Same thing kind of here. Okay. Next room. This guy. Lead man will go ahead and button hook. All right, we know that this angle will trigger, so we got to be kind of careful about how far we push. Okay, so we're actually kind of safe here. It's not too bad. It's a lot of guys in the hallway. Typically, something we like to avoid. Alright, we're pulling long here uh, with Peanut to pull security this direction, and we're going to do a, a three-man entry into here, right behind that bang. Okay, that room's clear. Next, we're going to get a camera under this door, maintain security on this door while we do it. Because of what I'm seeing, we're gonna go explosive. Right, so we build SA to inform our method of breach and our method of entry. We've got three door charges, we'll go ahead and get one done here. The breacher is gonna be at tremendous risk while he puts that charge in place. So we're gonna see if we can even come over here to the side and set it so he doesn't have to stand in that uh, that fatal funnel while he works. And because we know there's bad guys there now, we're gonna be even more careful about how we pull security for him. So we're gonna get guns on both of these doors. And then this guy's obviously an issue as well. Okay, we're gonna offset the stack We're dancing around this fatal funnel far more than I would ever really feel comfortable doing, to be honest with you guys. But there's reasons. We want to definitely get a bang down there on A. We want to get a bang in here. Also on A. Alright, so the goal here is going to be 
bangs go out, breach goes off, we get a bang in here and a bang in here, Simo, and then we uh, go ahead and pull a dynamic entry. I'm going to leave Goose in reserve to pull security on these doors and perform a four-man entry from a split stack into this space, so let's see how it goes. Alpha, go. Alright, see they're already winding up with the bangs. I'm going to set the breach off. Go. Breach is off. Bangs deep. We attack the unknown from the split stack. We don't want to over penetrate, so he's going to hold there. He'll perform a center check and then end up holding long. Two man from this oddly shaped room. We'll get out of the fatal funnel as fast as he can. Break down his sector, hold there. Three man will come actually. A little bit off his wall, just a little bit, to pull, uh, help back up his buddy, pull him along there. Let's see how they do. Yeah, too, too deep down there. Okay, the stack will continue to push. Clear. We'll back it off. And go ahead and reset. All right, next one. Uh, I think we want to go ahead and, and do what we can to build some situational awareness once more. This next entry may be the most complicated of the entire map. So an executioner there. That's problematic because of... Um oh, he's running. Hmm. 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 Okay, so here's what's happening. It looks like this hostage is, has been... Um, looks like this executioner is going to go try to kill that hostage. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I don't have any good options. <laughs> at all. But I think... <sighs> I need every second... To stop that execution. I guess the shooting in here triggered that executioner so I've got a couple options I can uh, bang and, and push with Karan um, or I can try to push with these guys <laughs> um, they both freaking suck because I don't have time to prep any of this with handhelds and we know that this is going to be a shit show down here and this is probably a shit show too um, I don't think I have time though I think I, I have to just go for it so uh yeah so i have to just throw bangs and hope that the timing works and then sprint with these guys yeah that's a problem all right these hostages are in the greatest threat right now because this grunt insurgent has a gun like actively on them so I'm going to go dynamic direct into here to kill him with a <laughs> Bacon's black on ammo on top of all of it. He needs a mag change. Holy shit. All right, Drummer is going to go for the sprint this way. Bacon's going to go this way with Peanut. And then Philly will follow Bacon. All right, here... Here's, I'm just going to plan it out. We'll see what happens. Um, okay, nothing good can come of this. I don't even know how to explain this madness that's about to go down, but we're going to give it a shot. Here we go. Time to say goodbye. Oh my gosh. Injured. 
Run! Oh my god, I think we lost a hostage, but we saved one. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay, this is absolute madness. Um, we're just gonna hide in this corner. Ah, oh, that's such a bummer, dude. Fuck. And I think we did okay up here. I think we saved all those hostages. Okay. Alright. Let's finish this crap up. We still have all these damn bathrooms to freaking get through. Um, Alright, this room is clear. We're gonna boot this open and check this corner. Add a sprint. Um, I think what we'll do is, uh, just based off of the geometry of this shit show, we'll hold this with two. We'll hold this with two and then we'll take two and finish up this stuff up here. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Alright, we're about to trigger a bunch more angles over here. Do you guys need reloads, either of you? Go ahead and take a reload. Do you need a reload? Go ahead and take one. Okay, we're gonna hold this. Push long. Okay, there is a hostage in there. This is going to take more than one, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a buddy. And just expect that this is going to be a three-man clear. Alright, that answers that question. We're going to go in hot. From here, we'll bang. Alright, number one man. Actually, he'll, uh, yeah, he'll move in here. That's fine. Still some dead space. Go ahead and push inside. Okay, he's clear. Nice. Now we have all we have left is these conference rooms and these bathrooms. Uh, I'm gonna leave the hostages for now. And uh, yeah, we'll work it in just a sec. There's no need to press in there, and I've got good control of the hallway. Um, and I can access a lot of these rooms from uh, from the outside without having to go inside. So we'll just choose to do that. Pick up the pace. It's still has to rescue. It's one that's gone to shit. Has to rescue all the same. You are critically injured. Everyone else is just a little injured. So we'll lead with our less injured persons. Still pull long while we do it. Awesome. So both those rooms are clear from the outside. Um, We've got this thing right here. Where's my camera at? Because I definitely want to stick a camera under that door. Um, these guys can go ahead and, and we'll just come on in. 
this direction. And based off of the lack of cover here and the doorknob placement, I'm actually going to have the stack come to this side. by opening this we are triggering this angle and there's dead space there so we'll go ahead kick it pie it that's why we do it did he seriously take a round <laughs> oh my god dude this fucking game all right i do see an open door here that makes this bathroom my priority um so we'll treat it like that how are these guys doing slightly injured Philly's fresh, so let's get Philly up here and in the fight. Hold this door for Philly while he moves. Nice. Thank God we didn't have to go in there. First attempt, guys. One star because we lost two units and one hostage. The units I kind of expect on a first attempt when you know nothing about the map, and it's the first time you know you've ever seen it, and uh, and it's eight versus uh, you know twenty three hostiles. The hostage I'm a little bit bummed about. I think we had a good plan to save that hostage's life. The good news is we saved the other two hostages that were in that room. Um, and it wasn't, it just wasn't quite enough to get there as fast as we wanted to. Not, not, uh, not a terrible run, something I'm reasonably satisfied with on a first attempt. Let's go ahead and take a look at these replays. Let's see how she goes.
3 minutes, 52 seconds, 1 star. Not bad for a blind look. I look forward to going back and playing more of these. And also, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting to some custom levels that people have designed that are super realistic. So if you've got those, you want to share them, throw them down in the comments or, uh, or drop them over in the Media and Links channel on my Discord. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing. That's the biggest way for you to help. You can also become a member for as little as 99 cents a month. It gives you dope perks. In fact, our latest tier will give you a discount on CPG merch of 20% and during this discount every single time you shop at the Teespring store and you can buy like our die cut. CPG operator sticker. I'm controlled pairs. I play the most immersive tactical shooters and combat sims in the world. This is Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. I'll see you in the next one.